and new from Zip Automation Lagos, Nigeria. I'll be taking you into our process control lab to show you a process control demonstration using PID loop programming. Already we have such video using a cement controller. This time we'll be doing the same using our Alembrad controller, RS 5000 and FactorTalk software. If you'd like to check out the cement controller video, you can click on the link below. For now, let's go into the lab. A PID controller is a control methodology used for control applications to regulate process variables such as temperature, flow, pressure, etc. etc. We will be using a PID control program to demonstrate a liquid level control system using this process control trainer. Here in this lab, we have an Allen Bradley Compact Logix L32 EPLC and IO models. We also have a Vegasin 61 ultrasonic level transmitter transmitting the liquid level in this tank. We also have a 1 horsepower pump which is being controlled by a 2 horsepower Delta VF. Okay, this is the control screen designed with factory talk software here we have the main screen here we have the process control screen here we have the process trends this tank here is our main focus and what we're trying to achieve is to control the water level in this tank let's assume our set point is 22 centimeter what that means is we're trying to keep the water level in this tank at 22 centimeters. So if the water goes above 22 centimeters, the program is going to ramp up the VFD to drain out water from this tank so it reaches our set point of 22 centimeters. And if the water level goes below our set point, the program is going to ramp down the VFD to attempting to shut it down. So I'll be showing you what our program looks like. So this is RS Logis 5000 software and this is our PID block and here we have the tuning parameters. For this demonstration we are going to be using the independent PID loop and I will explain what that means later. Here we have the proportional gain, the integral gain and the derivative time and I will be imputing the values for our factory top control screen for the proportional gain I'll be putting 0.2 for the integral gain I'll be putting 0.3 and in our program we can see that the values are reflected here okay I will be imputing a set point of 22 centimeters and over here we can see our process variable which is the level of water here as 29 centimeters and this is above our set point so what we're expecting is by the time i click on my automatic button which is going to activate the pid block in the program i'm expecting the baby to ramp up and drain water from the tank so i'll click on my button and we can see the baby is ramping up over here in the graph, it has reached the maximum of 100%. So now the pump is going to be draining water out of the tank. And the level of the water will also be reducing, trying to get to the set point. So we can see the level is reducing. This green line here is the process variable. And it's trying to get to the set point of 22 centimeters. So I've gotten to the set point. You can see the VFD is ramping down, trying to shut it down. So now this 
serve as an open to cause a little bit of disturbance and the level of our water is increasing so it's trying to get to the set point the process variable is increasing trying to get to the set point so immediately it goes above the set point our VFD will start to ramp up again and try to bring the water again out of the tank it's going up, it's rising so now it's above our set point our beard is ramping up again and it's trying to bring water out of the tank Now our process variable is reducing again, trying to get to the set point. That's it folks. In an ideal industrial application, the process variable is maintained steadily on the set point for a long period. This largely depends on the tuning parameters. Thank you for watching. Zip Automations Nigeria offers consultancy and training services in control engineering. For more inquiries on our training or consultancy services, please visit www.zipautomations.com or dial any of the numbers on your screen. Thank you.